Saturday, 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 da 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 da. Shit. What's going on guys? I'm Fuller with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We got Dustin here. Today we're doing a From the Gallery, except it's not really From the Gallery. It's some ambassadors of ours, which is pretty sweet. So uh, we have an ambassador program. If you haven't heard about it, customoffsets.com forward slash ambassador to get you all the details. But we wanted to go through and show off some of uh, these guys' trucks. So that's what we're going to do. We got their Instagrams pulled up. So we might not have the specs, but we'll be able to show you some cool pictures. That's the plan anyway. Sound good, Dustin? Let's do it. All right. So... First guy here, Dalton from Florida. So uh, looks like we've got a F-250, F-350. 2016 F-250 Platinum. Man, this thing's sweet. 26 by 16, 16 wides. It's on 40 inch Furies. What are these wheels? They gotta be, they're forged for sure. Leaning towards American force. Recon headlights, very clean truck. I mean, I feel like I feel like he really did it justice. It's It's got Kings, it's a Platinum. It's got billet wheels. I mean, what, what more do you want? Yeah, I agree. I think it's a perfect combination of polished and chrome, but not too much at the same time. All right, let's give it a number. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, nine. nine and a half. Uh-huh. I figured Ooh. it'd be pretty high up there. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nice looking truck. I got to leave that half of space just because I think there could be a little bit of squat going on there, and I would rather see it perfectly level, but that's it. Only a half point for that. Yeah, I did the same thing uh, with leaving a point off. That's really my only my only knock to it. I mean, the the aftermarket lights look really good. That wheel is hot. I love yeah. it, and it looks great on that on that truck. I should uh, probably mention this at this point. Don't think that you have to have forged wheels to be a custom offsets ambassador. <laughs> Tons of people apply that don't. I'm sure we'll probably see some other stuff in here too. That's a, a little more unique. So, jumping to the next guy, Wesley, 03 Avalanche from South Carolina. What's up, South Carolina? I used to live there. He's got the big old OEM reps on here. I'm gonna say, what do you think those are, Dustin? 26s? Oh yeah, I was gonna say either 24s or 26s. They're, they're big. In some of the uh, wide angle pictures, you'd almost believe they're 28s. Clean truck, very simple, not a lot. Done to it really, besides the lift wheels and tires. Got, you know, the big fat fives with mud tires which seems to be a popular look in South Carolina. Yeah, I would say it's a very South Carolina truck. <laughs> All right, let's give it a number. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, six. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not exactly the Wisconsin taste on this one. Um, <laughs> still a sweet truck though. I'm sure that there's plenty of people down in Carolinas that think that this thing is awesome. I don't know what it is with OEM replicas. I'm just not personally a huge fan of them but we still sell a ton of them. A lot of guys run them and the truck itself is very clean. Yeah, and if that's the look he's going for, that's awesome. I mean, it's definitely pulling that off. You know, for me, it's, I'm not a huge Avalanche fan and then the squat and then the OE reps is kind of what does it, but I still respect the hell out of it because it, it does look good and it's a clean truck for what it is, so. So we got Doug, uh, the 96 F350. I actually kind of like this OBS he's got going on here. This thing's pretty sweet. looks like Hostiles on there. Yeah, that's hot. I dig that a lot. What's super neat about his OBS here too is that it it doesn't have a ton of wheel compared. You know, he's got a beefy sidewall on it, but it looks really good on this truck. Yeah, they're probably still 20s, I would say. Got to be 20s, probably 20 by 12s. But yeah, 37s, 38s as far as tire goes, because um, there's still a lot of rubber there. He has the lightning seats in his OBS. Oh, that's neat. Neat. Yeah, you don't... You don't see a lot of those around anymore, which is which is what makes that super cool. And it looks like he's from Michigan. All right, let's raid the OBS truck. All right. Three, two, one, ten. Ten. Did we just we hit the holy bing, grail? Bada boom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we both said ten. I think this truck is awesome. I think it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's extremely well done. You know, there's chrome where you wouldn't expect it. There's powder coating going on. Everything matches up really nice. The truck itself is in amazing condition and it's on 40s. What more do you want me to say? Part of it could be our personal bias because you don't find a lot of OBS trucks that are this clean in the upper Midwest, but it looks good. Wheel and tire package is awesome. The little bits of chrome sprinkled in look great. I like it. I think it's, I think it's perfect. Yeah, buddy. Eight lug F-150. This is Zach. 7.3 diesel swap, 18 inches of lift, custom paint, it's tall. I've seen this truck before. I don't know where, but I've seen this truck before and it is wild. This paint is insane. Purple and green. 
Yeah, and I mean, the, f the fact that we're talking a diesel-swapped F-150 is pretty out there to begin with. And, and on top of that, a 7.3, nonetheless. Correct. Oh my gosh, if you go, if you go back far enough, he's got a, a throwback Thursday post back when the truck was just lifted a couple inches with like uh, a big move front bumper and some bushwhacker style bolt-on flares. And then just to toggle back to, you know, a massive lift kit with all the LED lighting on it is crazy. All right. I've seen what I need to see. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, seven. Seven. And I almost feel bad for giving it a seven because there's a lot done to this truck but I really think a different wheel choice would really make this thing pop. Because for how tall it is, it's not, it's not equally as wide, so a little bit wider. And honestly, I think I would go with chrome or polished wheels. Polished wheels can get kind of expensive, so I was leaning towards chrome, but um, I think chrome and purple would be a pretty sick look. Yeah, I would piggyback on that. I think just wheel choice in general, I mean, being that this is a darker finish wheel and just with the overall design, it looks a little bit smaller on this truck. Something a little bit bigger, uh, and again, a little bit wider maybe would, would completely change the whole way that this thing, uh, this thing appears rolling down the road. Rich, what's up, Rich? So he just bought a new truck. If you scroll back oh. far enough, you'll see he's got a cat eye. This makes more sense with Hostiles and the McGoys on it, okay. Now it makes sense. He's got some uh, teal powder coated bits on there. The old H109 super concave hybrid wheel, more modern mirrors, clear headlights. It's a pretty clean cat eye. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah, this guy's got great taste. Ooh, looks like he crashed that cat eye at one yeah. point. Yeah, you know, it does look like there was a bit of damage there. Yikes. Jesus, <laughs> he's got pictures of the minivan he must have, must have collided with and it's just decimated <laughs> crazy all right let's give this old cat eye a number pre-crash right, <laughs> pre-crash all right three two one eight ten ten i think it's hot i think that little splash of color and the suspension looks really good the white and teal is great little bits of chrome pop it you know in all the right places pop it off i like it i'm a cat eye fan to begin with so Again, it's probably a little personal bias, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it is a very clean looking truck. Uh, again, this is another one where like, you know, he's got custom powder work done for the suspension, wheels, tires, tint, mirrors. There's a lot done to it. Um, just didn't quite pop out as much as some of the other ones for me, but nonetheless, very clean truck. But that rounds it out. That was your newest group of ambassadors. If you guys want to check out the ambassador program, see if it works for you, you do that at customoffsets.com forward slash ambassador. Otherwise, if you want to see all the specs of all these uh, different trucks and what might fit yours, you can do that at customoffsets.com forward slash gallery. we got like 70,000 pickups in there. Uh, you can see exactly what people have done as far as wheel width, diameter, offset, trimming, all that good stuff. Did we cover it all, Dustin? I think we got it. All right, that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Yeah, we make it a movie.